Hey guys, I'm Anthony and welcome to Life with Anthony. Happy Sunday to you guys. I hope that you guys are having a great weekend. Today guys, I'm really excited, a little bit nervous, but mostly excited for today's video. Today is the first episode of my new food series on my channel, my first time trying this. And boy, do I have a doozy for you guys. Not only is my main dish is something that I've never tried before, the dessert is also something that I've never tried before. So I'm pretty excited. Now, judging by the title of the video, the food that I'm going to be trying for the first time is Scottish Haggis. Now, I've never in my life heard of Haggis. I just came across it when I was looking up exotic foods, something to start my uh, new food series on. I wanted to do something really, really interesting that I thought maybe none of you have heard of as well as myself. Now, I'm going to be reading a lot of information or some information about haggis because I'm not going to pretend that I know what haggis is. <laughs> so, I'm going to be reading some information as well as throwing up a couple of photos uh, along the way. So, what is haggis? Okay. Haggis is a savory pudding containing sheep's pluck, mince with onion, oatmeal, suet, spices, and salt, mixed with stock and cooked with traditionally encased in an animal's stomach, also known as like the, uh, the casing, like in an Italian sausage, you know, they have that little casing. The main ingredients of haggis are sheep's heart, liver, and lungs. Then you have the onion, the oatmeal, and as I mentioned, the suet and spices. Now what is suet? Let's find out what suet is. Because some of these things I was not familiar with. So, suet. Suet is the hard fat on the kidneys and loins of a cattle and sheep and other animals used to make foods including puddings, pastries, and minced meat. So, that's all the information on uh, <coughs> uh, suet, I mean, um, excuse me, on haggis. Now, the, also I wanted to mention that haggis is a folklore animal, a fictional folklore animal. It's not a true to life animal and here's a picture of the fictional haggis <laughs> folklore animal, which is quite, <laughs> quite the creature that they created. <laughs> Alright, so those ingredients does not sound appetizing at all to me, but hopefully it will taste a lot better than all the ingredients that are involved in it. So without further ado, I would say let's get into some haggis. Now, traditionally haggis will come in a casing, which is probably what you would get if you was to buy it uh, fresh from like a market or whatever. Unfortunately, we don't have haggis sold in any markets near me or around period that I know of. So I am using the canned version of Haggis. This is supposed to be a replicable uh, company that makes this Scottish Haggis. So hopefully I'll get the true effect of it as if it was uh, fresh out of the market. So without further ado, let's get into some Haggis. Now, Haggis is traditionally served in Scot uh, Scotland with some mashed potatoes. So I'm going to be making some mashed potatoes as well. So <clears throat> let's crank this bad boy open and first impressions of it. <laughs> let's see. Okay, my first impression of it, it, it looks very dense. If you can see that. It smells, <laughs> first of all, it doesn't smell bad. That's a good thing. <clears throat> I want to say it reminds the, the smell reminds me of like potted meat. You know those little things that come in like the little small can? Not spam, but like potted meat. Okay, so. <clears throat> 
Again, it looks really dense. I can see all the uh, ingredients that are mixed up in there. So let me get a spoon. Now I looked at one video. I don't know if I want to fry this or I don't think I want to fry it. I think I want to just loosen it up. So I'll use a uh, canola oil. I may need some more. But one might even say that it reminds them of uh, <laughs> dog food. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't taste like that. Now the one uh, video that I watched how to prepare it from the can, they did use some um, whiskey, a little shot of whiskey. I don't have any whiskey and I wasn't going to the liquor store just to find a small bottle of whiskey to add into here. So I'm going to be using some cooking wine instead. Alright, also I want to get these mashed potatoes going. I'm going to turn this up on some medium high heat. Almost lost my eyebrows there. <laughs> that bad boy was like, whoa. <laughs> All right, mashed potatoes, two cups of water. Get that water boiling. Now that I think about it, it kind of looks like the canned um, corned beef and hash that I use, but kind of like a, a darker color of it. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of this butter into my... Oh, wait a minute. God darn. You ever do that? Keep the paper don't come off? <laughs> Alrighty. So the haggis is on medium high. I'm not sure if I needed any oil in there or not. But I just wanted to make sure that it doesn't stick to the pan. And it's supposed to be like a creamy pudding. And right now, there's nothing creamy about it. All right, crank that up just a little bit more. Now, I was thinking the whole wine, the purpose of the wine was to kind of loosen it up. But it looks pretty loose to me. And I guess the more it cooks, the creamier it will become. It doesn't have a particular smell to it. I mean, that's like really filling up the uh, room. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this uh, cooking wine in here. I'm not sure how much to put in here, but That's gonna cook out anyway, just like if you use some wine in your uh, dish. But hopefully that's gonna make this really creamy. I'm not even sure when it's supposed to be done or not. <laughs> I guess I'll know once it uh, become creamy. I am excited though. I can never tear these things open. 
I don't know what this is. It's like some kind of aluminum. I always have to use some scissors. I'm weak. I'm weak. Try some haggis. All right, my mashed potatoes need to be getting up in there because this is going to be done before. I feel like I want to put a little more of the cooking wine in here. It feels like it's it feels like it's starting to get a little ooh the smell is starting to come out oh my oh boy pretty good for my potatoes so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and drop these potatoes in there and get them whipped up do this you know when stirring up these potatoes I always seem to make some come out of the pot I guess I have to judge this on the, the creaminess the handle is not hot because <laughs> I know somebody would be like oh my god you're touching that hot that hot handle if it was hot I wouldn't be able to do this all right got my little potatoes whipped up got my potatoes whipped up I don't even know how long you're supposed to cook this stuff I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I am. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Maybe I should put a little more. I'm trying to keep my handle on the inside because I know <laughs> I know some of y'all be getting on me about that. Oh, it has to be this handle. Alright. Again, I'm not sure when to take this out. It's definitely loose. A lot looser than it was when I took it out the can and put it in here. All 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plate up some potatoes. I love these garlic mashed potatoes. Oh my goodness. I'm going to assume that this is ready now. It's creamy, but I don't think it's creamy like I thought it was going to be creamy. I thought it was going to be light. But I guess this is the consistency of it right here. Alright. I think that's going to do it. It's definitely hot. and mashed potatoes. Oh boy. <laughs> Got me a wildberry flavored water. And now it's time to try this haggis. Oh my goodness. <laughs> A little nervous here. All right, here we go. This is my first time trying Scottish haggis. Okay. This is really delicious. It reminds me of Scrapple. That's exactly what the taste of it reminds me. It's a little salty, but it's really delicious. It's kind of like smooth. I don't know if I should have uh, had it in the pan a little longer or whether it would have gotten a little bit more creamier, but it doesn't taste bad at all. With all the types of ingredients that makes up this haggis, you would think, oh my God. <laughs> but it, 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 it's not bad at all. It's, mm. It definitely reminds me of Scrapple. Mm. Wow. I would buy this again. As a matter of fact, I have two cans of it because it came in a two can uh, package. Mm. It is not bad at all. Once again, it reminds me of Scrapple. It's a little bit salty. That tastes pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie. It tastes pretty good. And now, let's get into some dessert because they don't need me eating all that right now. <clears throat> get another spoon. Now, today's dessert is something that I've never tried again, and it is, excuse me, but the package broke uh, in transit. But today I'm going to be trying Auntie's Spotted Dick Steam Pudding. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot make this up. Auntie's Spotted Dick 
stain pudding. It has raisins and sartana. Don't know what sartana is. But this is what it looks like. I got a pack of two. So it, it suggests that you use it with some custard. But here we go. So let me give this a try because so far the haggis is a hit. Let's see if I can get Okay, it smells like raisins. I'm going to microwave this for 30 seconds. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy this haggis. It so reminds me of the texture of Scrapple. Mm -mm -mm. All right, my nose is running. Let's see what this Auntie Spotted Dick pudding. I don't think I like this. Maybe I need the custard. Mm. You know what this, my first bite reminded me of? And I don't, I can't stand those things. The Christmas fruit cakes. Oh, and I don't like, ugh, ugh, I don't like those things. This is going to be a big fat no for me. I wouldn't buy this again. Again, maybe the custard would have made it taste different or added something to it. It's very sweet. The sweetness is starting to come out the more that I chew on it. So I'm going to pass on Auntie Spotted Dick uh, Pudding. It's too sweet. It reminds me of that Christmas fruit cake, which I don't like. But. Alright guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of this new series that I'm going to be... Look at me. <laughs> this new... I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of this new series that I plan on continuing on my channel. My first time trying this. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Also guys, if you are not... Uh, Hit the notification bell if so you can be notified when I uh, upload a video. All that good stuff. You guys know all that. But anyway, as always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.